Hello and welcome to this little click channel. Click buckets of salt from the tears of enemies. And today I am making amends for my last video because it was so badly recorded. I'm going to make one very quickly for you. Go over my uh, previous pilgrim deck. Uh, talk about the deck itself. Go through a game or two and go through the results that I've played. Uh, it's, 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 a, it's not a super competitive deck, competitive deck by any means. I mean, if it does work out, this is how... My Cheerios deck started, just as an FYI, it started out as something that was, I thought was ha I was having fun with, making these zero cost attacks, charge the light brigade, charge the steel hand, whatever. It turned out being my best performing deck, and a deck that I will take into any competitive environment, uh, should I have the time to do that. Anyways, I don't think this is the same, and this is going down the same road, but uh, let's just go through it in the face. Um, it's, it's built around one cost cards with the help of grains of spill blood, lead with heart, and slap happy. So slap happy, I mentioned in my last video, I think is, uh, has a power to it that hasn't been fully explored yet, and probably isn't utilized pr uh, in this deck either. If, if you just take it with Dawnblade, for example, uh, turns into a uh, one card five which isn't bad normally you you, you pitch a red hit with a dawn blade as one card three or you pitch and hit dawn blade you can't do anything else this will with dawn blade will automatically give you a one card fiver uh it is the reverse of a heart of fandal in that instead of giving you three resources it gives you one instead of giving you one life it gives you two so not 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 the perfect, although it should give you three if you're talking about a full reserve, reverse, but I still think it's pretty damn good. Um, Dusk, pa Dusk Path Pilgrimage is a card I've always wanted to make work for a long time, and now with this deck, I think it can work. Uh, what I've struggled with so far after the, the five games that I've played is managing Soul to make sure that I get all the attacks with the sword and can keep going. Um, I'm going to remove Resounding Courage. And put in Dusk Path Pilgro Yellow. Because it does it's it, it does plus two and then plus through the sword if I can hit with the, if I can attack again. Um so it does become a one for five. Which is pretty nice. And so that's where Slap Happy comes into play or lead with heart. We save the Vigor token for turn two. Play a Dusk Path Pilgrimage, Beacon being bravado, uh, and then sword with this thing. So, against aggro decks, I could see it doing 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 some work. Against the uh, blocky decks, it might not be as good. Um, then other notable mentions are the blues. The blues are nice. Blues are really good. Um, I miss them. Like having them, having access to blues to go take flight into uh, bolting blade is pretty nice. Uh, being able to play warband of Bologna into take flight also nice. Um, not that we'd need Warband of Bologna if we're playing, you know, maybe if we draw it, uh, I don't know. anyway, it, it does have those, oh yeah, so if we go take flight into Banner Conquer, also nice. Goblet of Blood Run Wine, um, it helps with your soul, it helps uh, with that Vigor token we spoke about, um, so it does, it does everything we need, uh, and this it might be worth having a third one in here, uh, I don't know what to take out, maybe a lead with heart. Um, that's how much I've, I've been liking it. Commanding performance, I, I do like this card a lot. It makes blocks awkward for them, but it's not game changing. Uh, against certain decks, it is pretty cool uh, that want to block and that can't block, and you just push damage through, which is nice. Especially if you mix that with commanding performance mixed with, say, uh, Dus Dusk Path Pilgrimage off of a Beam Bravado. Um, then yeah, yeah that's, that's pretty nice pretty nice um yeah okay so that's the deck the results i have now i played against so one of them wasn't me i think dash i wasn't me arachne was the last game you saw levi i won one lost one uh doesn't feel too bad doesn't feel too good same as i think it's 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 slightly worse than the normal my other decks teclavos and i don't even play any anti-fatigue cards just the turns, the value turns I get from the deck are pretty good. 
Um, the one thing that does suck real bad is the V the Vanguard turns. The V the Vanguard turns because you have so many non-light cards and so many non-light cards that can't be utilized within the turn, it becomes painful. Uh, but then you just learn to use it off of a three-card hand, four-card hand, pitching pitching a blue, for example. Play V the Vanguard, and you still have two floating for either grains, take flight, banner, you, you probably want to charge banner of courage, um, or start with a dust path pilgro, um, and then V, so on and so on and so forth. So let's get into a game. Again, we'll go into competitive. We're not we're not messing around here. Quest undo. Please no Kano. Oh, Kano. We're not doing Kano. I think it's it's almost... You can't really show off a deck. You want to play like a nice grindy game where you can show off the, the mechanics of the cards you're playing and, and that type of stuff. More so than watch someone else uh, play Solitaire. There we go. Checking the echo. Echo. Hello, 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 hello. And should be back to zero. Now. Yeah. What a joke. That's not the first time I've done it as well. So, yeah, I do apologize for putting, putting out that content. Maybe it would have made the sense to not put it out, but making a video is not just turn on turn on the computer but uh, record and, and whatever sometimes you play heroes that quit halfway through sometimes i'm interrupted with with life stuff sometimes that echo thing happens sometimes the export doesn't work for whatever reason so i guess what you're seeing is, is not exactly the tip of the iceberg but in that sort of vein uh where quite a bit more time is spent into finding the right games for you. Um, games where we can watch it and we can learn from from the experience there. Uh, that type of stuff. Okay, so I think someone came on and my internet just... Okay, here we go. This is kind of cool. We'll go first. Krama. I don't know who Krama is. I think it's... it's See the um, ninja player? Anyways, let's have a game against Krama. Krama 13. There is a Krama, I think it's Krama or it's Karma, that plays ninja and is really good at ninja. So, he's, he's going to do some blocky blockies here, which is fine. Oh, this ain't good. I think I'll put you in the arse. Uh, do we need to attack? You don't really, right? Or do we want to attack? Um, guess we pass. You in the arse. Okay. Dusk Path Pilgrim is not going to work here. Unfortunately. But what we can do is slap happy to make you work. Charge. These two keep you in Arsenal. Depends what he does, of course. Ooh, it's begun. Turks land. Okay, that's fine. So we can block five here. Easy. Easy squeezy. Without busting the bank. And I guess we go four and four, keep courageous, or we no, let's let's do that. Let's go five and five. Five and six, I should say. He's got he's got a big deck, so I think he might be playing playing to uh Fatigue, maybe not fatigue, but have that in mind. And what Bravo does really well is just does damage, cause, forces me to uh, think about blocking, which I don't like doing. Okay, so we can even take this. 
think it's fine. And coming for six, um, and then perhaps even grains here. What I won't get is the buff, the bonus out of take flight. Uh, if he blocks, I will get it with the sword, though, because this only affects uh, attack action cards. He ain't blocking anyways. We will grains here. Hmm, not a good hand. Concussion. When this is here, if it has, if it has power greater than... Uh, what's it coming in for? Six? Yeah, we, we got this. We got this. It's too bad I have to put my Lumina down. It's got a card. Yeah, fine. Ugh. I think I might just use you then. Um, just get it out of the arsenal. Because as much as I like it, and I think we, it, it I think it's a, just a waste. I'd rather have you in the arse. Uh, I don't know what sort of is it. Well, it's a yellow, a red. I think this guy's on the pummel nation. Pummel nator. What's good about the slap happy, right, is that you can block eight on a CNC. Okay, I know that's zero damage. It's fine. I don't care. I just want to open up my arsenal. Okay, this ain't great. Uh, okay, that's gonna hurt. Concussion. I guess it's okay as well. Yeah, you can OG last one for sure. I think he wants the tectonic plating first. Um. This sucks because. These cards don't really fit too well together. Do have you? I could get rid of my Lumina here. I don't want to do that. So the options are, I take it. And then I, being Revado, use commanding performance to pay for grains um, and Lumina Ascension. I think I do that. Keep my armor around. It is it is looking dicey. I probably should block. Maybe I'm gonna block. I got two luminas under here. Yeah, let's block. I do want to keep you in arsenal. If he gets another good pummel turn, I'm a little hurt. But I have two luminas under. Is that right? Yeah. I need to get one good beacon out so I can uh, um, shuffle my deck a little bit. Now, do I grains here? I don't think so. Uh, he's going to have a big turn. I'm a little bit worried about that. Uh, no. Take heart. So I can come in in performance. Choke slam. Okay, so he's definitely going to. Like, 
Like he's gonna pummel. Like I, I know he's gonna pummel. If it's a red pummel, we're in trouble. Um, three six nine. What, what do we think it is? What do we think it is here? Like I, I think I don't mind blocking out because my hand's not great. But he's got a pummel. He's going to use it. That's not good. And if he does, what do we get rid of? Let me just say I'm thinking here. Uh, thinking. Maybe please bear with me. I can block 10 easily here. No, you're not. I can't block it with you. Damn it. Damn it. That's not very good anyways. Don't want to block nine? I don't. You'll block three. Discard you. I really don't mind forcing the pummel here. Um, this ain't gonna hit. This is a pummel for a life gain. Probably a pummel. I can just see the, the, the way the deck is built. Uh, it's gonna be a pummel. I'm not too fast. Choke slam is kind of annoying. A block of two armies, two arm armors. I don't know. The, it's, it, this is too easy to block. I think. Undo block. We could take ten. Hit back with seven. it's a ready if it's a red if it's a yellow one we can survive and do commanding performance if it's a yellow one if it's a red one we're in trouble um okay let's just do this it's yellow that's okay Okay, so we can still do things. We can still do six on the flip back. Not a fantastic six, but it's a six. Three card six. Oh, yeah. Still got a lot of blocks left. Okay. That's fine. Okay. This is looking good. Thunderquake. The question is do we start blocking now? And that is the question. Block three. I'd rather keep you. here so I'm gonna get you okay yeah let's do this I think with so much armor left I think it's gonna be difficult for us to to win this game but we can try It's not going to fatigue. That much I know. Screw it. Let's do six damage. Yep. Totes my goats fine. Let's find another one. Crippo. Um, hmm. So one, two, three. 
Take two here. I guess that's my last beacon, right? Yeah, that is my last beacon. That's okay. Last turn. I goblet. No, I don't goblet. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, now we could do some nice attack on the cracky becky. Well, it's not amazing, but. not the end of the world it's 15 he can block out with armor Okay. Well, he gets two things out of it. I think it's worth doing. Two, uh, um, yeah, maybe save it for the last one. Let me think. Makes the most sense. I think I'm gonna have a slap happy sink or a sink below in the next hand. He's gonna dominate a star a star strike. Okay, double slap happy. Okay. I'll take it. Um one, two, three. Six, seven, eight. So I can keep one one of them around, right? I can go one, two, four, five, and that's six, seven. Any more dominates and we're pretty much deed. Okay. Yep. Not too good. If you can keep this hand, which we won't be able to. Crippo, Crippo, Dippo, um, we block, 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 and then we lead with heart, I think, is more important. Oh, well, actually, he doesn't, yeah, he doesn't even need to block this. He is blocking it now. Okay. Choke slam, we can block. Five. Good game. If we could have somehow survived that one. Um, so let's just see. Good game. Um, then we could have won. Not one, but we could have put on some pressure with Beam Bravado plus Sword, which, you know, he had one block available. Um, okay, so let's try a new game. A new one. So, I mean, even like a Magic Pulpe. Okay. Okay. Just in case for the Chong Chong. Um, Combo. 
I should cut stuff out, but I just can't really be bothered. Um, drains of blood spill, sure. Let's do it. Submit. No, that's not fun. Yeah, so even with like a quote unquote bad deck, we can still run um what's his name to uh we can we can give a good game to Bravo. Uh there is an a power losing here with to without having tunic I feel and any good V turns. Way too many non light cards, but that's what we're doing. We're trying things. Uh you go first. Okay. Let's do it. I don't think I need you, right? Six to six. Sure. He doesn't have the other one, which is nice. Daegu Bar TV. I mean, the hot streak. Uh, cancel. Okay. I don't want to do that. Oh, crap. No. I thought I had one floating. Awesome. Oh, triple slap happy. Gotta love it. Um, I think we just block things here, right? I don't know what else to do. Sure. Okay, well, at least we can block this. Kind of lame. All our all our slappies are gone. Four. Okay. Yep. No, I think we full armor block here. Don't give him no damn gold. Okay, so we can not block with one of them. <clears throat> okay. Take damage here, we lumina lumen lumina lumina with courageous steel hand. The the best plays that we're getting out of this deck are the plays we would have had if it wasn't this deck. But it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We're learning here. We're trying new things. I have a whole bunch of oil cards that I'm trying to sift through to see if there's anything of value. They're just like not even organized properly. Oops, what should I have done? Was he waiting on me? I think he was. Nice. So his turn was I think IP three there, right? Living the dream.
Does he play D reacts? We don't know, right? We don't know. We'll find out right now. Nope. This is also the problem. We don't hit often with uh with with the luminous engine. Hmm. Soul Shield, Goblet of Blood and Wine. Sure. Ugh. So do we just save this for next turn? Doesn't matter, right? You get your gold. Hope you're happy. Oh, and he gets his thing. And you got triple. Triple de dipple de. Yeah, maybe I should have um I saved two life. Gave him a vigor for two life. Hibbledy bibbledy bop. Right now he's got one quapper and one gold. Gold is very good for him. Be right back. Degu Bar TV. I have a feeling. I'm going to check it out right now. Twitch. Probably ain't going to be. No, 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 nada. Probably ain't gonna be YouTube. Twitch is for the young guns, which is not me. Okay. I see where this is going. I could double Lumis here, but I don't think I don't think it really matters. To be perfectly honest with you, because okay, you can hit here. Blade Runner, you can hit mul multiple times here. I don't want you to have too much gold, though. Mm. I have to let him hit six. I think I have to let him hit. Yep. And now, do we take flight or do we beam bravado? Beam bravado is not going to get me very far. It's going to do one damage. Take flight would be. Let's just do take flight. So the 17, 18 damage turn. Um, yeah. One. Lumina, Lumina, Lumina. Is it better to save them? Probably, but who if we got two in our hand, we're playing two.
5, 10, 15, you can block. 5, 10, 15. Nice. Getting the life skis and the soul for when my my final beacon will matter. Sure. Using two cards for that. To be my guest. I never understood Oasis' respite into Bolton. No. Nope. Cool. Milled half a deck. Totally fine. Um, lead with heart. Take flight into sword. I think that's what we do. Put you in the put you at the bottom. Save you for a rainy day. Keep you around. Sure. Fine. Seven. Oh yeah, so slice and dice and the other one. That's okay. We're okay. We're coming back for nine. I think what we did, he did ten. We're doing nine. That's okay. Do will we get around to you? That's the question. Poking through. <coughs> Soul shield is pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad, pretty, pretty bad. I want to keep you two somehow. I'm not going to be able to do it. Okie dokie. Block two. Okay. Played as runner. Fine. Doesn't matter, does it? I don't think it does. We're gonna use our vigor token and you to okay, fine. It's totes because it's fine. Well, it's kind of annoying because I wanted to CNC, but six damage is still six damage. Slicing and dicing. Mm, three damage here. I think we just sink below this. What's the next one? Next one will be 
five. So let's take this, sync with the next one. And we've been Bravado keeping up Courageous Steel Hand. We have, I'm keeping this in for a long time and I don't know if I should be doing that, but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, he could have emboldened bladed me. I just noticed he had that card in his hand. You are pretty useless at the moment. I'm just waiting for an, um, uh, what's it called? Nourishing emptiness, which is going to come. Or, I mean, cash is going to come as well. So, we do need to worry. We do need to think about things carefully. Hmm. We've got an easy six block here. Um, and a six tech afterwards, so that's nice. We also got a lot of armor. As we take this lint, sure, glad we took it. Uh, maybe it's when we block. Pitch. Pitch. You. Play you and you. And attack. Pitch you. Play you. Attack with you and you. Okay, let's take it. Five. Am I still holding on to this? I think I am. I'll just use it. Okay, so I've got a plan. You might not like it, but I've got a plan. I'm going to need him to not kill me next turn for this plan to work. I lead with heart now. Tech three. Now I have all you block and a vigor token for my V the Vanguard. For the finale to win the game. This ain't gonna work. Play you with you, put you in, attack, attack, attack. That's all that's what I can think of. Spells of war. Now if this is a nourishing we die. We don't die, but we're taking it. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, so I think we can block here because then we have three block later on. Take the one. Now, how much damage can we do? That is the question. We can. So we attack with you, put in one card, right? So it comes four, five, four, three. I think it's his full hand. I'm going to say. Um, Otherwise, yeah, I think we have to do that with you. Or we put you under, no. It's probably the wrong thing to do. Too late, guys, it's too late. I've done it, and I'm waiting for my beacon to come.
And then we could see, oh no, I don't have the chance now. Maybe I could have Iron Song versus first side here. But I won't do that. Okay, this is going to be still okay. This is coming in four. We can take this one. Not to. I respect that. Going for five. You can also take this one. Where are my celestials at? Celestials plus uh, beacon equals game. I don't need to give you go again. And now you need to block this with one card. Sure. So I'm just gold. Um, oh, he can do things, right? He can. I have to block with three here. Because this can give him plus three. If it's a puncture, we're dead. I just have to accept that. Noise. Chowangis. Okay, that's a full. That's that's a two card. That's three card block maybe. Ooh ooh ooh! What's he got? Does he have something else? That's game. Uh, what what do you have in his hand? Uh, Oasis, mayhaps. Uh, I'm trying to think. Like, good message, good game. I'm trying to think what you what you had in your hand. Because well, if you block the one more, Command and Conquer would win the game. If you didn't, then I have what do we have coming up. Yeah, that's it. That would have been it. So then I would have gone. Uh, pitch. Put you under. Uh, pitch put you under, sorry, attacking with you, then attacking with you, then dust path pilgro. So that's a 10 15 damage turn as well, followed up by another beefy turn, followed up by another okay turn. Yeah, I think by the time we got to Beacon of Vic, our soul would have been gone. But there we go. Uh, we lost the matchup, we, sh we should have won. We won the matchup we should have lost um maybe it's just a matter of the deck maybe it's a matter of just a small amount of games played uh but uh, there you go you sort of saw what we can do with our uh vigor tokens into v the vanguard but v the vanguard is bad in this deck it, it doesn't shine at all and that is our most powerful card so if we're making a deck where it doesn't work that well uh, i feel like we need to make other cards work more which isn't really happening here. So this is more of a fun deck, you know, trying out Grains, uh, trying out Slap Happy. I think there is a place for Slap Happy. I'm just trying to figure out where. Lead with Heart. I like this because of the Vigor, which sets up a V the Vanguard turn. So if you want to lead the Heart into uh, Bolt of Courage, for example, that 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 forces a block, gives you the, the V the Vanguard token as early as turn. So turn zero, you do that. Turn one. You have your view of that guy. Uh, maybe not turn zero because you don't want to. Uh, you you they're just going to block it out anyways, and they're going to come back before card hand. Turn they turn zero, you turn one. You can do lead lead with heart into their uh, into bolt of courage into uh, force on the block, so on and so forth. Um, yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed and. This time, the audio should be much better. You should be able to hear what I'm saying. Even with perfectly good microphones, I'm not the most articulate speaker. So if something does go wrong, it just amplifies the shit out of it. So 
Until next time, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.